I think that's good enough. It's always the same. Be more easygoing, easy natured, less politics, more concise politics, cycle and fun. Curse less. Have a real PR year. Less streamer dra drama coverage. I don't do a lot of streamer drama coverage. It seems like it. people probably think I do a lot of streamer drama coverage, but I certainly do. Let's look at the... Let's let's put 2023 behind us and move on to 2024. And let's look at the the uh what let's do it. Let's do predictions, goals together as a community. 2024. Flashbang. Boom. Watching your content help me break down the liberal conservative mindset I've always had and now become a leftist. Yeah. All right, all the Zoomers died because I flashbanged them. Can we have some nicotine gum? No. 2024 goals, okay? Can you make this like, can't make it bold or anything, right? Can't change fonts on this, right? On the notepad. Well, you can zoom in at least. Okay. No, I did control B. It didn't work. 2024 goals. Number one. Uh, we're going to do it in, in the same categorization. Uh, what is it? Life, fitness, content. Is that what I did last year? All right. Notepad is plain text, but you can change how it's rendered. It's fine. Okay. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. 2024 goals. Life. And I'll do predictions as well. It's fine. It's fine. I don't want to change the font. It's fine. It works this way. It's okay. Life, catch up on One Piece, okay? As number one. Finish One Piece? Bro, One Piece is not finishing. Get a cat? Absolutely not. Catch up on One Piece. Okay. Um ay, ay, ay. Travel more. Stream even less. Okay. Get some drip for Kaya. Forge battle armor for Kaya. Man, you guys have you guys are <laughs> awful at this. Get her this. Yeah, I need to get her that that tracksuit. Don't like number two. Travel more, stream even less. Really? Okay, travel more, stream even less. Go to Australia. Take the Aussies to. China. That's a big one. Go to Japan. Yeah. How do you like that? How do you fucking like those apples, yeah? How do you like those fucking apples, mate? Right? How hard would a fucking China stream go, right? Especially with the Aussies. Maybe go, maybe go to Australia first. Kickboxing camp. This is a stretch goal, okay? I'm going to bracket this with a stretch goal here.
kickboxing camp in Thailand with Will plus Austin. Your goals are bougie. I mean, what 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 goals would I have? Like reach financial security? Is that I can't have that. I already have it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like <laughs> Muay Thai. Here's a good life goal, okay? Stop reading bait or at least be funny and good natured about bait reactions. Be more easy going. This is real. This is like, I, I think it's not necessarily that I should stop reading the bait. Okay. It's more so that I need to be more easygoing. I feel like when I'm tense, I, as the streamer, and this has been like, what? I've been streaming on this platform full time since 2020. And before that, since 2018. And the reality is that, um, over the course of many, many years, I've said this so many times, I experience burnout regularly. And when I do experience burnout, I tend to start reacting negatively to chatters. And back in the day, I used to just stop and, and take a day off and then come back. Right. And I would be less angry when I did that. And the thing is, Yes, please. You did yell slightly less in 2023, but you engage with obvious trolls too much. Yeah. Watch Will's stream. He reads bait all the time, but he parries it so well with a joke. Brother, I cannot comprehend how you would compare what I do to what Will does. Will doesn't do politics. It's entirely different. He doesn't have the same level of like unhinged haters. Like, what are you talking about? Treat the most terminally ill bait as stupidly as Felix or Edder get her momentum does. Yeah. There is a moment. There's a oh, time place for chiều. the iconic angry Hassan that you guys know and love. You yelled at me once for being weird this year, so my resolution is to be more normal. That's always good. You do realize that chat is going to antagonize into you breaking that, and I say that as a genuinely good faith chatter? Yeah, 100%. So, I think... Uh, I think that overall, um, I need to be more easygoing and easy natured. Okay. And I know it's an election year. And even though it's an election year, I think I need to do less than, I think I need to do less politics. What do I mean by that? Okay. What do I mean by that? What I mean is I need to make the stream more balanced because this stream is a very balanced stream or used to be a very balanced stream. And even if I do six hours or four hours or five hours of politics a day, it needs to be more condensed. Rather than harping on the same issues over and over again, getting stuck on bad faith chatters for a very long period of time. I think that the politics needs to be more concise. And then we need to do more fun shit. Especially because... Especially because I got one actively try not to curse as much. I know so many people who agree with you, but who cannot stand to hear you cursing. I agree with that. That's a good one. That's a good one. More concise. 
More concise politics plus cycle in fun. Curse less. I agree. I have a potty mouth. I have a potty mouth and it's not good. How about being less horny? That's ridiculous. I don't know. I, I don't. I think it's, it's funny to, to say that because like. I, I. I don't. I mean, maybe people will yell at me, but I don't think I'm that horny. At least when I am horny, it's for like very weird stuff. You know what I mean? I think I definitely was way uh, worse. More thirst traps? Yes. Leave unironically in 2023? Yeah, that's not happening. You were a lot worse during the pandemic, to be fair. Yeah, I was, you know, stuck in my house. Stop biting your nails, please. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Leave deeply unserious in 2023 too? No. If you have any non-political videos that need editing, we're always down. Hell yeah. More variety in terms of produced versus chill content. I think Fear End is a great start. Yeah. Have an actual year of public relations. Real PR year. Okay. All right, let's get to fitness goals. I think that's good enough. It's always the same. Be more easygoing, easy natured, less politics, more concise politics, cycle and fun. Curse less. Have a real PR year. Less streamer dra drama coverage. I don't do a lot of streamer drama coverage. It seems like it people probably think I do a lot of streamer drama coverage, but I certainly do much less than the average commentary channel. The average commentary channel is exclusively uh, involved in drama coverage. I don't think I do that much. But some is not zero. Yeah, oftentimes the drama coverage I do is just drama that I'm actively involved in, even if I'm not trying to be, and I get pulled into it. And the reality, figure out how to change people's perceptions of this community to be a welcoming one. People perceive more drama because when you do cover it, it's usually the biggest in news, and you're among the biggest covering it. Yeah, I think so. Um, even majority report does more than you probably it's like figure out how to change people's perception of this community to a welcoming one I like that I do like that no the pokey cookie drama you some of them included in content yeah so there are there are definitely moments where I think like something is unfair, so I will talk about it. But in a lot of instances, in a lot of instances, like the way I do or the reasons as to why I do drama coverage is because it does open up like a much larger avenue. I think. Uh it, it opens up a much broader audience because a lot of people are, are they, they can consume drama, right? In a way that is like easily digestible, much easier to, to digest than like uh, actual politics, like hardcore politics. So I, I used to do that to, to open up a larger audience, but the unfortunate thing is that 
Oh, 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 oh. Hire chef. And maybe even a PA or a like a like a producer, possible producer. Please, you need a PA 100%. Yeah. Is it Marge your producer? Marge is my producer for the podcast. And I lean on him for other stuff every now and then, but why a chef like to keep on your diet? Yes. I think this chat likes being hated by other streamers because they think being associated with them is devaluing their leftist morals or something. Yeah. I I there is one thing. Uh there is like real PR year. Oh, uh, re monetize Hasanabi clips industrial complex and also TikTok revitalize Hasanabi HCI C on. TikTok exclusive TikTok content standalone TikTok content oh wait these are I guess these are on the content side hold on I'm going I'm getting ahead of myself here please do these goals it'll revitalize the community Isn't the chef a fitness goal? Not, I mean, I guess. Fine. Here. Sorry, dog. Not even you can get me to install TikTok. Brother, if you're here, then I'm not making TikToks for you. It's to get people in here from that is not in here. You understand? Um... It's a very naive thing between the Hostwit members trying to bring back the Austin Ox negativity and the hatred towards other streamers and creators. It really hurts the view of our community in general. Even to people close to you who don't understand some of the humor or just see plain old shit talking content coming from Hostwit or Hoscord. I don't know what that means, but you're never going to be a Ludwig type. It was almost universally liked because you refuse to fence it or hold your tongue and that's a good thing about you, not shitting on Lud. No, I know that, but that's not what I'm looking for. I will never be like a, a, a Markiplier or a Ludwig type. That's not going to ever happen. Also, you're right. Uh, less politics is uh, technically a content goal, but, but I guess it's a life goal as well in general. Um, Hajigit. It's more so clearing up the misconceptions people have about you, right? Yes. Hire someone to help with content goals. You can't do this all alone. I was going to say something similar. Build out the Hassan Abbey industrial complex, not the clips complex. Maybe diversify platforms on politics on TikToks, more mainstream news appearances. You're taking uh, the ones I'm typing. So what I mean by this is I think um, when I say exclusive TikTok content, I mean standalone content like direct to camera like short explainers, things of that nature, okay? Short, concise explainers, etc. Stuff that like overall bangs, you know what I mean? Like the breakdown, breakdown style. I think like the, I think one thing that I always forget, and this seems kind of funny saying this, it seems kind of weird saying this because like if you've been in here for a very long time, if you've been in here for years, like there's a lot of inside baseball, a lot of community memes and stuff, but I feel like I'm not as approachable to the normie person who's like uninitiated with politics because I do bring up a lot of, I bring up a lot of talking points or I bring up a lot of facts, for example, that like the average person that is not super tuned into politics is going to have a hard time comprehending. Like I'll bring up a relevant point that I think everyone gets, 
But if you don't have the basics, if you're unfamiliar with the basics, you're like probably sitting in here and going, what, what did he just say? What the, what the hell? Why did he just bring this up? What does this have to do with anything? I don't really know. And I think I need to dumb my content down a little bit more. I feel as though one of the things I've done is it's weird saying this, but I, I, cause I don't think like my content is, is inaccessible at all. I think there's like significantly more dense theory out there than the way I do my coverage. However, having said that for a lot of, uh, for a lot of like normal people that, uh, that are just basically getting in or getting invested in politics, uh, I, I think that it might sometimes be inaccessible. Be less bro-coded, maybe? No, that's the opposite of what I'm saying. Yeah, see, this is a great example. Peepa Man 247 you're so right on this. Normies have no idea what an OECD nation is. For a lot of you, you're like, what? Of course everybody knows what an OECD nation is. But I say it so frequently... And I never describe it. And honestly, it's like maybe people still don't know what it is, right? So instead of just saying like OECD nations, I should probably say like developed nations, right? Like or or explain what OECD is. We got to do describing of words. Yeah, uh, like I, because I, I don't know. Like in, instead of. Instead of saying OECD or even Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development Nations, I should say, I mean, I guess it's like, I have to describe it, right? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's such a good descriptive. The space is good, but Twitch isn't great for outreach, specific, uh, especially for leftist politics. TikTok has been the base and is very good at capturing Zoomers' attention. Yeah. Do you have a clearly defined target audience or particular groups within it? Yes. My defined target audience is, is, is like 16 to 26. You're so accustomed to bad faith chatters that you sometimes end up coming down hard on someone who's unironically just curious and has no idea what they think is right, uh, is wrong. And it becomes you parrying them rather than walking them through the steps, just in my opinion. But I think there's validity to it. I agree with you. The thing is, my audience used to be that, and many of you were that, but now you've aged out of it. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people who grew older alongside myself and are still in here. But yeah, uh, this is what that means, by the way. Be more easygoing and easy-natured. That's what that is, actually. That chatter nailed it, okay? Be kinder to just curious people they might literally be just curious i don't know i personally don't try to bring up how much i watch you in other communities because there's just so many freakazoids that are irrationally angry about you and activate at the mention of your name just lurking in normie spaces yes my haters are very well organized that is the reality but you should not be afraid of of like people yelling at you over it they are insane and I do believe that many of them come across as insane. Like, I I'm sorry, but no matter what happens, when you have a sock account on Twitter and the entire sock account is dedicated to, like, replying under every single one of my tweets with, like, uh, the same meme over and over again, most people see that and go, oh, dude, this guy's a loser. Like, this guy's a fucking weirdo. And they've been doing it for years also other leftists are obsessed with attacking you about artemis is very tiring yet yeah, that part is stuff that that that's whatever it doesn't matter i'll be having resources would help them but the hot court is now a hostile environment for that kind of stuff i i don't know how how uh aggro hot court is but maybe we need to also dial that back too Hey, Hasanabe, I've clearly been in here for a while, but don't chat as much. I'm sure 2024 is going to be great. I just want you to try and protect your own peace more. Don't always feel like you have to engage with lunatics. It drags everyone down, mainly you. Yeah, I agree. Your 
Your subreddit that you hate has resources, by the way. I don't hate my subreddit. Just always explain yourself, and yes, be aware that others are not as aware uh, of affairs as you are. Though, do not dumb people down. Make everything transparent and accessible through overlays upon your Twitch channel. More podcasts? Yeah, I should. I should go on more podcasts. I agree. Uh, I want to put that up top, actually. Collab more, more podcasts. Like... The Graham Stephan podcast is a perfect example, right? And um, the Graham Stephan podcast that I did is a perfect example of this. So he wanted me to do his podcast for the longest time. And I always was like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that. I feel like it's just going to be kind of lame. He's like, you know, he's, he's a, a, a landlord guy. But he was so incredibly charitable to me and just kind of let me do my thing. There was, of course, pushback in moments where he didn't agree with me. And we had a normal, polite conversation. But because my brain is so tarnished from haters that I thought it was going to be a drastically different type of interview. I thought it was going to be like, uh, you know, I thought I was going to be on the back foot the entire time. I thought he was going to bring up like, you know, a bunch of drama and a bunch of nonsense. And yet... This was a situation where I didn't have a chat constantly yapping in my ear. And I think that this podcast was incredible at unironically showcasing a lot of my positions and, and uh, showing to a completely different untapped audience what I'm about in a positive way. We all suffer from this too as a community, and I think that what makes us less welcoming too. I've been conditioned by the freaks. Yeah. And I think that that is really good. This kind of stuff is really, really good. And I must do things like that. Um, because <laughs> the chat says, more interviews with important leftist public figures, Teamster leaders, please. Brother, that is so, I mean, that's just boring. I do that already and I'm going to keep doing that. But like, I'm not going to put that as a content goal to do more of, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> You're like, this is the equivalent of being like, no, dog, you got to do more theory streams, okay? <laughs> I, it's not boring to you because you're brain broken. You're a 38-month subscriber. Of course it's not boring to you. It, but this isn't democracy now, you know what I mean? Shadows will come in here and be like, hey, man, can you do like, can you just do a, like a, like a lit, what is it? Labor? Was it LibVox? What was the? I I used to listen to the audio books all the time. Like, there's a bunch of like anarchist uh, channels out there that will put communist texts and like audio books. Yeah, it was like LibreVox. <laughs> Do you remember when Ray was here and chat linked the two hour long theory lecture? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <sighs> Invite Gramsci on the show. Chatters don't get the what you want is for more people to come in here. Yes. There is a there I think there is a level of like wanting this to come across as like inaccessible to others because it makes everybody feel like this is a more uh personal community, like that's that's you know, it's, it's more, it's less mainstream. And my goal is to become more mainstream. Yeah. This is not like, uh, this is not somewhere that you can gatekeep. I don't want you to gatekeep this content. I want this content to be more accessible. My entire goal is to reach normies, not like-minded people. My goal is to reach normies in the periphery, normies in the, in the outside world, and get them to change their minds. Your mind is already made up. You probably were a normie at some point. And it's been so long that you forgot about it. Um, when you go on other programs, the comments are always filled with people changing their minds on you. It's crazy how the anti assam propaganda goes crazy. Yeah. No, straight up. 
No more guest stars, Lamont. No, I think I should do more guest stars, actually. The guest star part is not bad. I just need to figure out a way to do it, like, more streamlined and more fun. Not by, like, debating chatters or anything, but having a more fun component. Stop. Stop. Stop being like, oh, oh, God, that's so depressive. Shut up. I mean... Sometimes chats become more of a high mind that attacks people they think is bad and uncharitable to your position, even if it's another chatter. I think chat could do with dialing this back a bit as well. It's why so many other communities view us as hostile. I know you and the mods do their best, but chat should also do, be more charitable to the people that come in. Yeah, I agree. I think that that is my point. That is my fault. I will say it. It's my fault. I'm so aggro that I think chatters, they see what I do and they emulate it. And I think that I need to dial that back in this community for sure. I, I, that's a specific point that I must make actually. Okay. Be more easygoing, easy nature, be kind of just curious people. Remember... Chat emulates the streamer. Attack chatters less. Change community mindset. Really loved you on offline with the pod jobs. Also, when you had love it on fear and molding, I think most normies get radicalized against you because they show people show clips of you flipping on people and that's what they see. It's stupid, but that's what goes viral. Yeah. Maybe take polls on certain topics to talk about, i.e. Stalin, USSR and other events. Fart girl. I believe I will not be doing that. We can all be more understanding of people not having the right framework when we've been conditioned to be super reactionary. Yeah, that's like another thing that I forgot about. I mean, this is a big part of what I do. A big part of why I started doing this on Twitch specifically, specifically was about charitability, about the, the need for uh, understanding that people have the capacity to change. And this is something that I used to duke it out with all the time with my community when it was much smaller. And it's like something that I genuine, it's something that I genuinely believe in. And I feel as though I've lost sight of that a little bit, especially because of like endless sequences of attacks from actual bad faith people that have clouded my, uh, my frame of, of reference and made me, uh, way less tolerant. to every single person that asks questions in here because I just always assume that it is coming from a, a uh, perspective of like just smarmy, annoying, bad faith attacks. And, and I think Chad also is doing that trauma response too. Yeah, it is a trauma response for sure. And I got to desperately fix that. More vlogs and non-stream content? Yeah, um... That was my point, not attacking or being crazy, repulsive person, but help bringing us on and our values to more normies because the real gatekeepers are the ones knocking everything you do, right? Yeah. Maybe this is crazy because I do tenant organizing, but what if you do segments where you bring chatters and coach them through how to talk about politics with normies, almost like teaching people how to door knock but navigating day-to-day -day combos, kind of like how you do that yourself with some more normie chatters? Sure. Found you because of flagrant, because other leftists always said negative things about you that were bullshit. Collabs are so crucial. Yeah. Really good seeing you understand this. No, I, I definitely understand this. This is something that I, like I said, I know where it comes from. I know where, I know where it uh, became a thing. I know how it became a thing. It is a trauma response, 100%. Chad is immediately ready to attack another chatter when you pull a user card up, and sometimes they're bad faith in the end. But it is immediate. We started adding usernames to Automot and timing people out for dogpiling, but we shouldn't have to. We can do better. Yeah. How do you fix that trauma response without someone having someone something else or someone else to center you? Genuine question. 
Um, just being more aware of it, being more, more mindful of it, I think. You should do more fitness stuff. I started working out thanks to you a few years ago, and I've since lost 50 pounds and became a bodybuilder. Yeah, there's a lot of Hasanabi heads that have done this, which is kind of surprising. I always am shocked. I just keep going back to that chatter. Say people get mad at you for flipping on them. You don't flip. You call out people no matter who they are when in the situation calls for it. It's not, that's not a bad thing. No, I think that it is uh, somewhat of a bad thing because I'm quick to, I'm quick to jump at uh, chatters, assuming that they're bad faith, but sometimes they're not. And I think that that creates a toxic space uh, where people want to pile on. You know what I mean? That's one criticism I was willing to agree with haters on, but they bake it in with other shit that I knew that was actual concern trolling, that you can get mad no one is perfect. Yeah. It, it, the thing is, um, not every single person that asks questions uh, or, or uh, are, are coming in here are doing it specifically to beta reaction out of me so they can clip it and post it on Reddit. There's a lot of people that do that, right? Um, but having said that, even if it's someone who is bad faith that is looking to beta reaction out of me so they can clip it as I'm yelling at them so they can post it on Reddit, I should just simply not do that. I should simply not yell at them, even if it's bad faith. And, um, and if I'm describing it for the 50th time, I should just not read it at all and not describe it at all. And... Like, yeah, that chatter that said, why are you in Italy? I, like, I popped off on a chatter that said, why are you in Italy? Because, like, or earlier today, there was a guy whose name is Usama or something like that in the chat. And I know that guy was in here in bad faith. But he was asking something as a bad faith chatter that could be perceived not as a bad faith chatter. Now, I recognize the username. I think we've banned that person's, like, other million different sock accounts, right? But he was like, I forget what he said. Or even the, the other chatter who was like, uh, oh, uh, these goals are so bourgeois. Like your, your life goals are so bourgeois, right? A lot of that stuff piles on throughout the day. And by the end of it, by the end of my rope, I just start responding very in a very like mean, smarmy kind of way. And if you clip that, and you show that to people and no one is actually going to come in here and like watch for three hours, four hours. They're just going to see the clips. They're going to think all that I do is just like, I'm an asshole. I'm a bad guy who doesn't know how to have fun. And I think that that aggressive response also creates uh, more aggressive responses from the chat. So I just, like I said, I've suggested stuff and you turn it down nicely being like, nah, I don't want to do that. And then people fucking dogpile on me and tell me I'm an idiot and whatnot. It's maybe not want to interact with the stream in the past. Yeah. Remember one time you raided Maya, right? When she was talking about how she personally wouldn't pay for an OnlyFans to watch porn because there are free alternatives available to enjoy. So many chatters from the raid called her a swerve and ruthlessly shit on her immediately. Motherfuckers here definitely need to reel it back a fuck ton. Yeah. Uh, yes, I have thought about making a video addressing some of the most common misconceptions about me and chat. But the problem is that uh, that would basically be like a beacon. I have thought about that, but it's just like, it's so much bad faith. I think the best possible thing that I could do is not something that is in my hands. The best possible thing that I could do is have other people who are content creators on their own organically make videos such as that, like documentary series and things of that nature. And uh, I, the reality is most people are not going to be that dedicated, but a ton of the misinformation that flows in the discourse doesn't come directly from the content creators, but from their fan bases, especially when they have like cult-like fan bases that are into effort posting for their dear leaders, right? Because it is usually like a cult. Streaming is very culty. And so what ends up happening, what ends up happening is like those, uh, uh, those content creators 
have cult like followings that will then effort post and will make like literally long convoluted documentaries that are incredibly one sided and oftentimes just straight up bullshit. But like it's not the same as the content creators themselves saying it. If they post it, if they look at that, if they react to it, or if they draw from that information and and uh, engage with it, that's incredibly effective. Much, much, much more effective. No one likes positivity. Mr. Beast gets shit on and he's mega popular. No, Mr. Beast is a great example of, of the content creator who's been able to like navigate the seas as well as he possibly can. Is your main goal to bring people into the stream or simply reach them with content, no matter what the platform people I know and tell about you never would tap into the stream, no time, so concise content and platforms in general is a great idea? Yeah, it's both. It's both. I will disagree with you on that. You always do that, though. What makes guest stars as good is how you show so much respect for who you are talking to, understanding that no one is immune to propaganda and you don't debate. You converse in good faith. It is something people need to learn from you. Yeah, I I agree. Um, I know this may seem silly, but I think the Drunk Lethal Company stream did more to improve perception of you and other streamers' communities than almost anything else this past year. People were like, damn, I didn't know Hassan was funny, lol. Yeah, nobody IRL hates Mr. Beast. That is Twitter freak shit. And we are Twitter freaks ourselves, which is why we oftentimes are, are misguided and think that, like, Twitter is real life. It's not. This might be a bad suggestion or badly written, but I feel like we need more community building like you used to. Like, the P.O. Box segments were so fun, and while chat was, like, 30K+, plus, it made me feel more tight-knit, and you got to see our appreciation for what you do. Granted, I know the P.O. Box brings about its own complications, so I don't know how to replace it. I guess Chad Vice is one of those contents, too. Yes. More community content for sure. All right. That's a good one. More community content. Memes. Meme review. Chad advice. Yo box. Maybe. It checks frequent chat advice we're working on the sub badges um rearrange streaming room now that i don't use it for podcasting i i want to completely rearrange the streaming room Dating profile reviews. I like that. Sub, um, sub badge, new sub badges. Oh, chatter setups. Yeah, chatter setup reviews too. New sub badges, new banner. I do want to move away from the W banner this year. New banner. B ball against your rage plus yard plus. B ball tournament stream tourney event stream that's something I've been working on as well RDC AMP your rage yard Jeff Nippard collab fitness. Yes. I want to do like a week with him or something. I do want to do that. I do want to do a, a, a collab with uh, Jeff Nippard for sure.
When I first started watching your stream was structured with politics till you ate, and then you started to do fun reacts like forging a fire and stuff, and politics was out for the rest of the night unless it was a special occasion. Yeah. Texas OTK collabs plus Alvea's stream for sure. I'm going to put that separately actually. And then Cutie Disney once again, a permanent goal. A lot of the perception stuff won't change that much unless chatters commit to changing as well. I agree. But I think chatters will change. I think chatters will change when I change. Because my chat... I mean, look. The community reflects the streamer. The community emulates the streamer. So I need... I, I take responsibility for that. I, I definitely do need to be nicer in general. You can't change Twitter, though. That's much harder. Yeah, I don't care about that. Um, oh. Take Kaya out to see experience snow. Dog park stream. Bước tiêu đàm. For sure. change chat remember when you changed the hostile emote chat got way less horny kind of a schedule it would also be great to have a better idea of when you're streaming and what the content will be makes it harder for normies with jobs to join if you miss a day i'm hunting on discord reddit etc figuring out why you're later just off that day yeah cutie hasanarella i know that sounds like a good idea and i love that you say that but i am literally the most consistent streamer of all time Like, I know people say that, but I don't think you guys understand how this space operates in general. I think there is no better, more normie facing content creator than myself in that regard, that this is like the most streamlined approach that you could have. And I posted on my Twitter. I post updates on my Twitter. I post updates on my Instagram. I try to keep it as like, I, I try to keep it as, as people as up to date as possible. So I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, look, think about it. 352 days out of this year, I was there. I was here. I was live. And on the 352 days that I was live, I also was uh you know streaming on average uh seven hours a day you're basically as inconsistent with streaming as someone with a full-time job would be with their job sometimes they're late because of traffic or an appointment or something but otherwise it's 40 hours a week nine to five etc yeah except it's you know more than that hasan abby gaming breaking 100k this year got 30k new subs in 2023 yeah that's awesome can we address the fat phobia though? Some of the language you use is crude and childish and is a huge turnoff for fat people. Slash Jen, much love to you. I mean, I'm probably gonna be doing more. I'm gonna be honest. Not just fat phobia, but just like. <laughs> Chad, don't pile on this. Don't pile on this person. 
Don't do it. More phobia. More people of color creators on the broadcast? No. Less. <laughs> Maybe not consistent in terms of showing up, but what's on screen? Like sometimes I come in late thinking I'd come in to watch some lighter content. It's either you're still doing news or vice versa. Yeah, it's just that's Twitch is the nature of Twitch. That's like not something that I can change really. So many crybabies in the chat nowadays, man. First of all, there used to be way more crybabies in the chat. Please don't pile on uh, this person and call them a crybaby. Um, there were definitely there were definitely way more crybabies uh, back in the day. Oh, I forgot charity goal this year. Okay, twenty three. We reached almost three mil. Twenty twenty four, charity. I'm raising the fucking stakes. We're don't we're doing five million, baby. Five million. We say two million. Wait, why would I go lower? Finally, some real socialism, charity. Twenty million, no pussy shit, bro. What do you think I am, Jeff fucking Bezos? What the hell? I'm not Mr. Beast, dog. Last year was 1 million, no? No, last year's charity goal was 1 million and I did 2.8 million. This year's charity goal should be not 5 million, it should be 3 million actually. And then we'll see what happens. 5 is too much. Half of this list is just be chill lol. I mean, it's a huge deal. Being chill is definitely a big part of what I have to do. Because I think people forget the way. Ooh, I like this. More streams of punishments like one with Cutie Maya Stavros. Hot tub election cover stream on April 1st. Cover the weather instead of the news. Stream with a bear to prove you, can, you can't be friends with them. Get a boyfriend in RP. That's funny. Um, are you rolling over 2023 goals that you didn't achieve? Uh, no, they just get canceled. Please don't take this the wrong way and chat. Don't call me a crybaby. Will you try and reduce the amount of times to call chatters autistic when they annoy you? It really sucks for those of you, uh, for those of us who are on the spectrum. My friend, I don't know if you know this. I mean, you've been in here for 29 months. You probably do. But like, I think like 90% of the chat is autistic. It's Twitch. This is a very neurodivergent platform. So like you think that you're the only person, but <laughs> this is, and do not pile on this chatter. I mean, I know a lot of us are. No, that's what I'm saying. It's like, not. Will your producer a profit share? Um, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna set it up yet. But see, like, this is the this is the problem with me like hiring people or working with people because immediately it's like uh, there is a like an internal. There's always like an internal audit happening with chatters, like an external audit coming from chatters like they're the fucking IRS. No one has ever asked Mr. Beast that question. Yeah, but Mr. Beast is not a socialist. They'll say that. This feels bad faith too. It does. I assume it It could be. Why the fuck are you announcing it then? Just hire someone. Okay. I noticed. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to change my, uh, I'm going to change something right now. I noticed as soon as I responded to the fat phobia thing as a joke, then more criticism started coming in and then bad faith chatters who can't stop themselves. Um, immediately started jumping in to be like, well, my concerns need to be heard now and I need to stop that. You can avoid the audit. If you do all your payments in crypto, the ledger is public knowledge. You know, I think you should be a little bit more of a minded to add breaks. Oh my God. Oh, or to what chat has been telling you tonight. We just want to see the community grow hostile. God damn it. Last year, I got formally diagnosed with autism and I told a few people in my circle and all that did was get people to unironically call me the R word. At least here I feel at home. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's insane, dude. <laughs> yeah, I got to read chat out loud less. Where was I? Let's get back down to it. This is becoming real beefy. 
We're going to do fitness goals in a second. Here's a 2024 goal for chat. Never miss a good opportunity to shut the fuck up for a sauce chat in 2023. Okay, that's fair. That is a good opportunity. Also, the three minute ad break is upon us before I forget. Um, this is more like a to-do list than a New Year's resolution. I mean, it's good. It is good. I, I value this for the record. Do you have any personal goals like learn an instrument or language? Could be fun on stream sometimes. I, don't, I feel like I don't have time. Um, anyway. Yeah, a New Year's resolution is 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 a to-do list basically so the thing is there's like there's other chatters also bringing up like fat phobia and like harmful language and stuff like that i i have a i guess a unique approach to this where i do think that like harmful language is obviously bad and wrong but like trying to sanitize every aspect of my commentary like being less bro -y, for example unironically would be more off-putting because it would just be not me right i try to ensure that i'm not uh being toxic and attacking people regularly for uh you know things that they can't change about themselves and i know people will like laugh uh, especially haters would laugh at that and be like uh -huh, really you are incredibly anti-white racist or whatever the fuck right or whatever they try to uh make stick but overall uh, you know, I do, I do fly off the handle sometimes I do get mad sometimes and I pop off and I say some stuff, uh, and I, you know, that I think falls into the category of just like, don't get so mad and try to be less, uh, upset. But as far as the sanitization goes, you know, I, I'm probably going to be authentically myself and in, and in uh, instances like there's going to be stuff in here that you will not agree with but like with uh when we talk about like when i make fun of people or specific characteristics like when i call a cop like fat or whatever in many instances, like, it's coming from the same energy that can be misconstrued, but it's coming from a, coming from the same place of like, um, how do I describe it? Like when I make fun of Ohio or every state at this point, everybody understands that I shit on every state in the United States of America, right? I usually shit on every nation on the planet as well so it's not supposed to be taken super seriously for the most part your dramatic moments aren't just cynical attempts to drum up drama they're genuine reaction by you yeah I do think, and I've said this before, my only issue with your rhetoric is the use of the term schizo because it literally paints people with schizophrenia as terminally online freaks it's very alienating 1% of the population has schizophrenia. It's inalienable characteristic. Yes. It's also, um, it's also happens to be overrepresented on Twitch though. All matter of different types of neurodivergence is overly represented on Twitch. I think anyway, like there was a chatter in here talking about COVID and I'm not going to reply to them. I'm using this as an example of growth. Normally, I would have spent a decent amount of time retaliating and being like, please be normal. We're all going to be normal here, that kind of stuff. And I'm not going to do that. Growth. And this is why this community will never be more approachable. The hypersensitivity is wild. Twitch viewers be normal, impossible challenge. Yeah, I mean, when other chatters come in here and read takes like that, they definitely go, oh, God, this is like, they immediately put me and this community into a box that this community is normally not in right which is uh over the top hypersensitive like looking to cancel people uh please only walk around eggshells i contribute to it as well with the way that i pop off on people and this is something i gotta be i don't have to be less hypersensitive myself because i'm not a very hypersensitive person 
But I do believe that there are, uh, you know, chatters in here that I have to, you know, uh, uh, regulate a little bit more. Little Bear, I'm not being hypersensitive is literally the only thing I have an issue with. No, I, I, I know where you're coming from. I don't think you're hypersensitive. Um, it's, it's, um, it's the difference between, like, serious moments where we're talking about mental illness and mental health complications versus, like, an offhanded remark. And it's just something that I do all the time with respect to, uh, with respect to like uh, calling people psychos, right? That's what it is. Are you gonna have experts and more guests on for 2024? No. Are you going to go live in 2024? No. I'm done. I I'm I'm done streaming. Um, Kaya dog spa stream. We want to see her get pampered. I do think we need to do more uh, Kaya related content like take Kaya out to experience snow is a good idea like park maybe not the dog park but just a park because there's the respiratory thing going around anyway so yeah yes animal exploitation exactly When you went to Italy, you talked about a lot of the history very passionately. I feel like you could do a history segment from time to time, not often. Maybe every time you go abroad to Japan or something and talk about a period of history or an event that you find interesting. Yeah. Okay. There's enough content uh, stuff here already. Not a theory stream, but showing how to explain a hot button issue to our brain rotted aunts and uncles. Yeah, that could work. Um, I also, I can't take uh, Kai to Alveus. Uh, Maya said dogs can't go to like and be around other uh, animals like that. Um, okay. Fitness, hire chef. Not a vegan chef. <laughs> Get fat. We're going to go for 16% body fat again by end of year. Okay. By July 225 by end of year. Okay. Can we please give more attention to trans rights? I feel like, unfortunately, there's still some transphobic people in this and many other communities. Please. There are virtually no transphobic people in this community. I'm sorry. I will have to say no to that. This is... A, uh, what is going on? What? This community is... is and I stand on this. I... I will say this much. And I, I and I think this is literally like I would say this is even more than Germa. This had this is the largest online trans community that isn't like exclusively uh, trans content creators for a trans audience. Like I, I will I will stand on that, which is why it's always funny when people are like, <laughs> "Assign your transphobic." This is literally I. 100%. You said Vosh. No, this community is larger and therefore has a larger amount of trans people. Most leftist online trans community? Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. Um. More footy coverage like you did in Rome? Yeah.
Life goal, hate crime, Austin. Okay. Isn't there like a fuck ton of us in here? I literally joined this community because I saw you defending us this year from Nick Merckx. Yeah. It's not even a thing. Like, straight up. I found you by tuning in randomly when you were in the middle of defending trans people and publicly embarrassing a transphobic chatter and I never left. I watched the whole stream. It felt amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's just like... This is like... Uh, I did talk about the Turkish Cup uh, in, in Saudi Arabia the other day. Chatter. Up our black community amount from 9% to 13%. We got to go even higher. I, I don't care to at this point. It's fine. Repaired a bridge with Ethan. I'm f still friends with Ethan. I, I talk to him every now and then. So there's no... See, this is what I mean. There's no like... Bridge burning. Uh, from an avid juicer, he hates you on hood. No, it's not okay to dogpile. No, f come on, Fizz. What are you doing? No, everybody stop. Stop. Can we have Palestine be free in 2024? I mean, yeah. Chad, don't get that even if the streamers themselves know you IRL, they might not collab with you just by virtue of them knowing how much you uh, turn off their audience. They think that if you're not actively making content with them, you hate each other. Yeah. For saying on hood? No, we're not doing that. Uh, no matter what. On hood is just a new thing. He says in RP. That's why. Oh, I mean, I don't care. All right. Let's keep moving. Um... Kai doesn't even hate you. The only thing he got upset at was you telling him and Rage to suck your cock for jokingly calling you a snitch. Something Rage apologized for, but Chad never clipped it for you. Classic. Yeah, I don't have an issue with uh, Rage at all. And I don't have an issue with Kai either. These are... I mean, I, I don't have an issue with any of these content creators. Okay? But, like I said, I, I would always... I've tried to collaborate with them regularly. It's uh, If it's not happening, it's not on my end, is what I mean. I have no enemies, okay? Do not create imaginary drama. I kind of want to learn to do something physical, like, like be able to um, handstand. Pole dancing is right there. I mean, I already did that. But I'm down to do more stuff like that. But that's a little bit... Like, handstand is... is. I mean, maybe we could do like a learn to dance. And that's also content too. Something like that. Could be fun. Sorry for making ignorant comments on here. No, it's okay, Chatter. Don't worry about it. Uh, no one should yell at you for that either. Learn t some of the tricks with Kai that people do with their small dogs, like yoga poses where she jumps on top. Law. I don't think I could do that with... With uh, Kaya. Would always see criticism about you on Twitter, YouTube, so I watched a couple clips and started watching you consistently on stream. I really appreciate it. Still appreciate how you constantly speak about queerness and queer issues, especially since very rarely the content creator doing so is a straight man. Yeah. I think, like, the one thing that you should tell haters all the time is to just come in and watch a stream. That's it. If you welcome if you welcome people to come in and watch streams like if they're misguided they will 100% very quickly in my opinion especially when it's like a chill uh, especially when it's a chill moment um 
they will recognize very quickly that they are uh, they're misguided. Learn to sing. Learn to sing Red Sun in the Sky. I think that's a good, like, skill thing to learn as well. Yeah. Learn to sing Red Sun in the Sky. Racism drama, let's go. Wait, what do you mean? Watch more poop socks this year and give us what we really want? Sure. You got it. Ever since you talked about how much you used to draw, I've always wanted to see some type of drawing stream. I can't draw anymore. It's been so long. Like, I'm so out of practice. I I doubt that I'd be able to draw unless I was, like, drawing a lot. Okay, we're done with the... Uh, there's so much here. We're done with this. Okay, 2024 goals and predictions. Life. Uh, I didn't put a view count. Uh on here but um catch up on one piece collab more uh for charity reach three million uh more uh, collaborations more pockets appearances travel more stream even less go to australia take the aussies to china go to japan stretch coal Muay Thai camp in Thailand with Will and Austin. Stop reading bait or at least be funny and good-natured about bait reactions. This is the most important part, in my opinion. Be more easygoing. Okay, and then we're going to get to the predictions now. Be more easygoing, easy nature, be kinder to just curious people. They might literally be just curious. Remember, chat and the streamer, attack chatters less, change community mindset. Less politics, election year, Lamau. More concise political cycle and fun. Curse less. That's huge. Curse less. Real PR year incoming. Okay, actual PR year incoming. Possibly hire a producer, uh, also a stretch goal, most likely not gonna happen. Um, learn to sing Red Sun in the Sky. For fitness, hire a chef, like to do meals, to bring in meals. 16% um, body fat by end of the year, 235 by July, 225 by end of year, currently at 248. Dunk by end of the year, learn to handstand. Learn to dance on stream. Cursing is not a bad thing. No, I I think uh, I, <laughs> cursing is not a bad thing. But I do curse a lot. I I it's a it's a major sentence modifier for me, right? And it's it's lazy. I do think that it makes me less approachable to a broad audience for sure. Content, remonetize Hasanab Eclipse Industrial Complex, revitalize the Hasanab Eclipse Industrial Content on TikTok, exclusive TikTok content, short, concise, explainers, essential breakdown style, more community content, meme review, frequent chat advice, PO box, fit checks, dating profile reviews, chatter setup reviews. I want to do a Q&A as well. Rearrange the streaming room. Make setup better. Now that I don't have to do the podcast in here. New sub badges, new banner. Um, B ball against RDC and PRA Yard, B ball tourney event stream, Jeff Nippard collab with fitness, Texas OTK collabs, Alvea streams, Cutie Disney, more Kai related content. Um, and then we move on to you forgot gaming goals. 
I'll do more gaming, but like I'm not gonna put it in there. I, I, I'm not gonna put the gaming goals in there, guys. Come on. Um. Predictions. Are we ready? This is the, this is the dramatic stuff. This is the good stuff. Okay. Prediction number one: Trump doesn't go to jail. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Here. Who's dying? Death predictions? Oh, that's easy. Death predictions. Mitch McConnell dies. Second Hasanabi downfall. Your downfall. How? I don't think I can fall down more. Mitch McConnell dies. Jimmy Carter dies. Easy one. Um, I'm not going to say make a bold pick. Taiwan big escalation? No. I'm going to go ahead and say no major escalation in Taiwan. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's going to happen. No, I'm deleting that. I don't even want to put that in there. Oh, God. You just killed everyone in Taiwan? Stop. Um, Ukraine war gets one more final push. But in the absence of interest, ends with ceding ground to Russian annexation, causing major rift in Ukrainian right-wing forces major rift in Ukraine putting Zelensky at odds with what's the name of that fucking general like the defense minister guy the Luzhny do you fucking write his name god damn it this is so hard at least they're not Polish Jesus Christ You are tunneling? What do you mean? Speaking of Poland, Polish, Ukrainian 
relationship rift over economy, which is already happening. Huh. No financial crisis that everyone, including me, is calling for in 2024. I think that... Do you think this year China will annex Taiwan? I do not think that. Uh, I do not think that at all. So I'll, I'll put it in there. Maybe I'm wrong. It's a prediction. It's, it, it can be wrong. You know what I mean? I could be wrong on everything. I don't think you should put war predictions on here. Honestly, it's kind of morbid and just setting yourself up for future drama. I mean, dude, it's like a fucking. I'm not confident in this at all. Okay. I'm just. In any of this. Don't be baited into thinking. This is a hard prediction. There you go. I can't see the future. You wrote that part too late there after your ass? No. Um, I think that the economy is recovering in America. Oh, Irish unification. Which is the Star Trek meme, but it's true. Um... U.S. economy reaches soft landing, which it can, yeah, soft landing. Quebec independence from Canada happens? Yeah, no. Predictions on Tesla, Twitter, and the Cybertruck, etc. Okay, that's a good one. Um, major Cybertruck recalls. There will be a major Cybertruck, uh, Cybertruck recall. Have you ever read Baba Vanga's prediction? She predicted Putin was going to die this year? Yeah. People always do that, and it never happens. Uh, California, Oregon, Washington, to see the, the nation of Pacifica. Tesla stock's going down. Um, Epstein list predictions. I don't know about that. Hyperloop. It's over. Hyperloop failed. It was a failure from the jump. It succeeded in achieving its original goal of, of stopping like, uh, other public transit, uh, opportunities. But, um, Uh, Biden's on the Epstein list and it comes out in October. No, no shot. <sighs> if, you think, if you think Biden would ever be on the Epstein list, you greatly misunderstand Joseph Robin and Biden. Like he sucks, but not in that way. I don't know how to describe it. He 
he is Oh, they didn't say Joe Biden. Oh, true. They pulled the Republican Party on me. Technically. Um Uh, hold on. Aren't there like good recaps of 2023? Oh, I was going to show Daily Dose. I think I need to see that. That's what I need right now. I need a Daily Dose of the Internet 2023 recap. Where is it? Oh, the best of the Internet. We already watched it, didn't we? Shit. Okay, here. Hello, everyone. This is. I'll just play this right now. Because I gotta go pee. Was forgotten in a locker and was rediscovered a year later. Sometimes the trash in a garbage truck will catch on fire, so this is what they do during an emergency. Wow! Wow! Look at that. He's moving forward. He's dropping all of it. This is not. This is this is not good. This guy stepped. I love the, I love the dude just watching and filming. I'd be fucking booking it out. Oops, I cursed. I would be booking it out of there. Okay. I do not know the mentality and the mindset that, that causes someone to just <laughs> sit there and and film it. Crazy. to break up a cat fight. Turks. This was the I love that. He is just having a normal conversation with the cat. It's so Turkish, dude. He's like, come on. What am I doing? Why do I always have to deal with you like this? Last video of the year. Thank you so much for making 2023 a fun year. See you in 2024. Later. Your attitude about cats is the most Greek thing about you? As long as it's a cat prediction? No. Um... Did you want the vote thing? Oh, yeah, we're going to do that in a second. We're going to do a 2023 year in review. No, I did watch this. Hello, everyone. This is your yearly dose of internet. Crazy I watched thing. this. I'm pretty sure I watched the best of the internet in 2023. Yeah, I watched this. Chat, we are not curse word no fab Andes. You got to look at the big picture. Just because you curse one time doesn't mean the year is over. You got to keep your percentage of non curse words higher. Curse retention Andes keep rise up, keep the grind going. Thank you. Exactly. Did you talk about Dave already? Oh, Dave Chappelle? No, I did watch the Dave Chappelle special. And I have some interesting takes on it. Like, straight up, one, I guess I could do that right now. Um, you should start a swear jar for cha uh, charity. No. So prediction, Trump openly quotes Hitler, Biden mistakenly quotes Hitler. That's a good prediction. Uh, no, Dave Chappelle has not stopped being transphobic. If that's what you think. Um, I think like, uh, let's see, let's see, getting back, getting back to, uh, the, the 2024 predictions, uh, do, 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 do. Hold on. 
Prediction, do you think Taylor and Travis are endgame? Uh, no, but I also don't know. What? I don't think it will matter if you try to be charitable or less abrasive because this will happen to you anyway. Yeah, I saw this. It broke my heart. But I think everyone on the internet uh, basically uh, aligned with Michael here. I mean, he's so awesome. He's so nice. And I think his response was really good. And, and uh, people do actually react relatively well. To uh, the the overwhelmingly uh, hyper positive response to even the worst uncharitable most Nazi haters. Yeah, we'll I'll I'll do this in a second. We'll we'll take a look at it. Um, 2024 prediction, Bill Clinton dies or gets very ill suddenly. No, Bill Clinton. I, I think Bill Clinton dies 2024. That's actually a, that's a hot take. There's a, that's a spicy one. There you go. Hiller is the killer also? No. What do you mean dies? No one is assassinating Bill Clinton, Chatters. Uh, I know like a lot of people... I know a lot of people want me to give you election predictions, but like I have no idea... It's just so, it's so far off. Like, I, I say this all the time. Anybody who tells you what they know is going to happen in the election right now is just, they're unserious. It's entirely unpredictable, despite the fact that it's happened already one time. This election... And the way that it's seemingly, uh, uh, the way that it's like working out has already happened. It happened already last time, right? And the thing is, the thing is like, this time four years ago, COVID basically was non-existent. Yeah. Like, this is, remember, in the election cycle, right into the election cycle, like, right on election year, two months in, lol, what? No, it was. No, COVID started becoming a phenomenon that people were paying attention to globally in February. Edinger Mantum keeps bringing up a pathway. Biden has to lose the popular vote and win the Electoral College by, like, one vote. It started off in the December of 2019, but the reality is it didn't set in for many people before the end of February and the beginning of March. I remember because I went to PAX East. I went to PAX East in February and the Bernie rally and, and two Bernie rallies, one in Boston and one in, in Las Vegas. It, it started becoming a real thing that people recognized and noticed and still were saying is not real. I know that like the correct answer to this is 2019 December. But public consciousness is entirely different than, like, what the actual inception was. <laughs> okay?
I think that it it became I think it became a real thing for a lot of people uh depending on what segment of society you're from if you're a sports watcher it was the what was it the Rudy Gobert or whatever like the guy who like touched all the microphones and stuff and then he had COVID and he gave it to a bunch of people for sports Twitter that's when they were like oh my god this is real for a lot of like libs and Democrats it was when Tom Hanks got it like when the NBA shut down that's when like that's when a lot of people were like whoa what is happening that's when it became a real thing for a lot of people. It was March. I remember very clearly because I was fired three days before the lockdown started. Jesus Christ. Oh, I saw this. This is a this is a a yoinked prediction, but I agree with it. I think um uh, COVID shutdown uh what was it? Uh, this is a this is definitely a yoinked prediction. Um this is uh COVID shutdown nostalgia. But I don't know if it will like my opinion is I don't think it was COVID shutdown nostalgia thus far for the past couple of years, like post 2020, I think, I think it was COVID shutdown anger. Okay. I think it was COVID shutdown anger. Anything that like brought back COVID created a lot of negative uh, opinions. And now I think people are going to look back at it and, and, possibly start uh engaging in COVID shutdown nostalgia the NBA incident flights to Europe and Tom Hanks getting it was the same day yeah big day <laughs> big day for everybody Most Twitch users never left quarantine. Most Twitch users never even had to go into quarantine because they were already in quarantine, and then they never left that stage afterwards as well. People forget how much changed in a few short months. Like, they don't realize at the top of the hour and they will be seeing three minutes of ads. God damn it. Oh... I got cooked. You should do the rock climbing indoors for a physical thing. I want to try it. I walked into that one. You're right. Honestly, the craziest when the Australian Grand Prix was canceled about an hour before it was going to start. Cars were already on the track ready to go. Wait, really? I don't know how that happens. Um, yeah, 2024, I got baited twice already. It's not my year. We'll, we'll try again in 2025, boys. Uh, it, you know, this is not the year for me, okay? I love the few, the few months right when lockdowns were ending. More space, quieter, more work from home, less tourist life was nice. I feel like we went back, back to full hustle and bustle way too quick. Um, streamer Awards nominations. Oh, here we go. Uh, platform move predictions like let go and a kick. No. Hold on. Here's the three minute right now. Okay. 
Chatter loves this Jada Smith prediction. I've been in this community since COVID. I want to say thank you. A few years ago, I felt severely chronically ill, and this stream has helped me so much. On the days I could barely walk across the room, much less leave my house, I knew I had a stream to watch. In the darkest time of my life, this was one of the few bright spots. Thank you, chat, mods, and Hassan for everything. I just graduated early and have turned my life around. Hell yeah, Chatter. Congratulations. I mean, saying 2024 will be the hottest year on record is not a prediction. It's just like, that's just a fact. So, uh, would love to see you do the half dome hike in Yosemite. Absolutely not. Judy will get on a plan this year. Oh, you mean plane? Bad things will happen in 2024 is my prediction. That's also not shocking. Um, will you be less of a himbo for the himbo for the new year? No. Um, predict cutie plan versus Austin LA house. Uh, cutie plan is more likely than Austin LA house. Thank you anonymous for the here two gifted subs. That was crazy. I think, um, I mean, I guess like as far as weather predictions goes, uh, I, I think that climate change is also shifting, uh, seasons further. So there is that happening. Like climate change shifts seasons. More. Take the tram up to Mount Fuji in Japan and steady to Hot Spring Black Egg. Sure. Uh, DC Baller, thank you for the five. Get the subs. Twenty twenty four, we get that bullshit. We discovered UFOs again. I don't know. I feel like that kind of died out. I could see. I could totally see a lighter new pandemic causing people to overreact. Plus, a major, even larger rift like it's not it's not as severe as covid but people go fucking nutty mode and then it causes an even larger rift between like the anti-vaxxers and whatnot Less so in 2024. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's just warmer in general. But I, I do think that there's a possibility of like, like climate change affects everything. It shifts seasons. It makes the world warmer. It disrupts agricultural production. It creates additional diseases as a consequence of like different migratory patterns. So there will be more famine. So we'll see. I don't know. My I feel like these are bad uh, predictions overall. I, I don't feel very confident in my predictions. New Switch in 2024? Yes. New Nintendo console 2024? Yes, 100%. I mean, that's a, that's a lot. Switch 2 maybe.
Well, as long as Tay can't take another hit, what do you mean? How many viewers do you think you'll get on election night? I don't know. Probably not as much as 2020, though. Grand Theft Auto was already delayed, chat. I mean, or already not really. I don't think Grand Theft Auto was scheduled for 2024, was it? Um, when someone becomes interested in football, it becomes a Golden State fan. No. I think like a beloved celebrity gets invested in um like a beloved celebrity gets invested in in like openly right wing content that's extremely online in a shocking way. <sighs> crypto scam more likely? No, crypto's done in my opinion. Uh... I think crypto will continue being uh crypto will continue crashing and burning in general. Barbara Streisand say her name. This year we have another having a BTC which means another bull run expect a lot of crypto stuff. Oh. Why do you think it's cool to... Okay. Okay. Almost ate the bait there real quick. Getting better. We're learning. We're growing. We're getting better. Twitter gets banned into EU. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Kanye West moves to Saudi Arabia. He already did. Predict one funny political scandal. Um, we find out Kevin McCarthy does indeed fuck. Like, for sure. There you go. That's a lock. Um, oh, another one, another one, another one. Eric Adams, Polly Amory. How do you write Polly Amory? Like this? Arc is revealed alongside his criminal case. Because he was using one of his concubines. Or is that not the appropriate term? This feels like a YouTube tutorial video cheaply made. What does that mean? Uh, Eric Adams, polyamory arc is revealed alongside his criminal case because he was using one of his concubines for crimes. For crimes, Marjorie Taylor Greene, normal arc, normal politician arc, or rather, the party becomes more like her. Um, no, like normal arc is in. I promise you will see this. Um, what I mean by this is like, 
I I don't know how to describe it. Like she's not she's not doing more uh like, you know, Jewish space laser shit. She's doing less of that. She's wheeling and dealing internally within the party politics. Like she will get assigned like I mean she's working to to push for uh committee positions, things like that. She will not be considered a pariah. Lauren Bobert, on the other hand, will be considered a pariah. Lobo is the opposite. That's it. Uh, Lobo already running in a different district. Lobo's going to go to a different district? Like, no, I'm saying Lobo is a different kind of unhinged. Does that make sense? Also, someone said Lobo's going to get pregnant, and that's like, that's not a prediction, dude. She's already like a grandmother at the age of 36. She's... She, that's like a crazy she has so many children already speaker johnson is outed as gay or into weird porn like maddie healy levels into weird porn no i i i think there is a controversy with mike johnson though for sure i can see that also now he gets Predict the next Twitch drama. Mm. I don't know what the next Twitch drama will be. Maybe something with VTubers. Ludwig comes back. He already is. He already is back. Uh, it's, it's currently, it's going to be RP. <sighs> Ludwig will not go on. Ludwig will not go on kick. Israel escalates their push to Palestinians in Gaza, south of Sinai to begin construction of a canal. I mean, that's also, yeah, I do think that Israel will start. Israel starts forcible relocation of Palestinians in Gaza to Sinai plus other regional uh, Muslim nations, including Turkey. Take in refugees. Fucked up prediction. That's insanely specific, but right. Fucked up prediction. Yeah, I'm. But like I said, I'm just making a prediction. It could be wrong. Whose brain is broken? When I see MTJ, I read Magic the Gathering. My brain is broken. Your brain is better. Conspiracy theory that isn't being true? Aliens? No. We're doing the polls. I want to, I want to break it, break the content up a little bit and do some other stuff. And then we'll do the polls. What is Far in the world. I hope you have a wonderful new year. Okay. Oh, this is from last year. Apparently this is like popping off again. Fox! 
I hate the left. I hate it so much. I am now a reactionary conservative. I hate you guys so fucking